Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm definitely having a better day than I have been having. Mario, come here, babe. Um, hey, happy Memorial weekend. I hope you guys have some fun stuff planned. I know I have a little bit of things planned. Uh, today we're going, I'm going with the girlfriend and their family to uh, Grand Lake up to this cabin and they got boats up there. We're gonna go bow fishing and take a pontoon boat out, I guess, and just to have a good time. Probably barbecue some stuff and just have a really good time. Um, so that's what we're up to for the weekend. Um, man, yeah, I'm excited about that. At least comment us what you're doing down below. Let's get into the video. I've been trying to make this video for a week now. Um, so last week, starting last week, I think it was Wednesday, um, I got sick. I got bad, bad sick. I didn't know what was wrong with me. So I uh, missed work. I called the doctor and uh, the doctor gave me some uh, nasal spray and stuff and some uh, cough pills, pills for cough. And uh, man, I was just terrible. I thought I had like a sinus infection or something. And so anyway, long story, mid-sized story to mid size, I don't know. Anyway, so I still feel like junk, right? Come a couple days later, still not feeling good, still not feeling good. And then over Monday, I went and got a COVID test because I was like, man, I'm still not feeling better. What's the give? You know, what's going on here? So I went and got a COVID test. It came back negative. I went back to the doctor on, went to the emergency room on Wednesday. And I went to the emergency room and the doctor checked me out and turned out I had bronchitis, a sinus infection, and an ear infection. Margo, get over here now. Margo, you leave them alone. Good girl. Hey, good girl. She's over there messing around where she, she shouldn't be messing around. But she listens good. She's already back. So anyway, uh, yeah, so I go to the doctor. He tells me all the stuff. Uh, what did I say? Bronchitis, ear infection, uh, and uh, I don't remember, sore throat, strep throat or something. It was horrible. Honestly, guys, any of those things by themselves are terrible. But I had them all kicking my butt at the same time. And, man, I sure I sure felt it. You know, I felt terrible um, for a week. I thought I was going to not die. But, man, I just felt miserable. No energy, no nothing. Just just felt really, really, really sick. And uh, I wish that upon no one. I hope you guys are doing good. If anyone else is going through something similar right now, um, go see your doctor. Maybe you need some amoxicillin or something. That's what they ended up giving me with some amoxicillin. I took that and I actually started feeling better the next day. Um, so today is Saturday. I've been feeling better for about three, four days. But man, I tell you what guys, it was a close call for a week. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I thought I was gonna die or something, honestly. I, obviously I'm fine, but huh, I don't know. You gotta watch out in this time of year you start getting sick and stuff. So I'm um, taking my medicine, doing good, staying hydrated, staying rested. If anyone's gone through something similar, Go to the doctor. Man, hopefully they'll help you out, get you some antibiotics or something. Stay hydrated, stay rested. All right, enough about all that. Um, I know it took up a long time, but I wanted to, I've been trying to make a video for a week, and I just hadn't felt like it. But let's take a look at the animals. We've got the chickens and the pigs and stuff. Uh, I got a clip. I got a couple clips on some stuff, trying to get the pigs to eat. Or eat. Trying to get the pigs to drink out of their water bucket, the nipples or whatever. So we put some peanut butter on it and stuff. I got some clips of that. And also, what else was there? Oh yeah, I got uh, some quick clips of uh, uh, trying to trap some stuff. So I think you guys all remember that skunk that visited me and Margo, oh, two weeks ago maybe? So we had a skunk come, it sprayed Margo. It was a disaster. Anyone who has ever messed with skunks, hey, good girl. Uh, if anyone knows, Anything about skunks, it's terrible. Well, I was at Tractor Supply the other day and uh, back up, back up, back up. So I'm sitting in the house the other day. There's a bunch of windows on the side of the house, right? Well, I'm sitting in the house and all of a sudden, what do I freaking see? That silly skunk just come trotting through the yard midday. I said, what the heck? And I, you know, by the time I get up and come outside, and come over to the porch right there. I come out to the porch, skunk's gone, right? I'm like, well, dang, you know? And uh, so I was like, dang it, missed it. So a couple days go by and I see it again, man. I see it coming again. This time 
I, I run really fast to the bedroom. I grab my, my 22 and uh, <laughs> it wasn't loaded. Dang it. Last time I went shooting, I didn't reload it. And uh, so I grabbed a handful of bullets that come out on the porch and uh, it, was, it was still out here when I had seen it. I could see its tail up in the bushes and stuff. So I stood out here and I took a couple shots at it. And, uh, but, and it, as soon as I took a couple shots at it, it started coming at me. I was like, oh no. So it starts coming at me. And as it gets closer, when I get a good shot, when I actually have a good shot, like in the regular grass, I'm out of bullets. <laughs> so I went and grabbed a big old log and I tossed this log over my head. I already put the log up because I mowed. But I tossed this log over my head hoping to hit this, hit this freaking skunk and I missed it again. And uh, I said, where is it going? This stupid thing went right there underneath my house in the tiniest little hole. I mean, that hole ain't but that big. I got to cover that up, but I can't cover it up yet. Cause that skunk's out of there and I get it. So I was at Tractor Supply the other day and I, they had some traps. So I'm really excited about that. I bought these two traps. They're usually, I think it was like 35 bucks for these live animal traps. There's that one and all the other ones in the back of the car. And a bigger one, probably twice that size, um, that I got for 24 bucks. They were on sale because they were kind of damaged in the sense of it was kind of like the one that they had out and everybody probably messed with. Um, and the little one was fine, but the bigger one, when you hit the, uh, the sensor plate or whatever, boom, when you hit that, it wouldn't close the door. So I took that over to Randy. Randy, thank you very much for helping me out on that. That's uh, Dutch's father-in-law. Uh, real handy. Randy's real handy with everything like that. So I went over there and we put on the back of the tailgate and we piddled with it. And he piddled with it while I sat there and bumped my gums with him or whatever, you know, talking and chit-chatting. And Anyway, he got it going. So thank you, Randy. appreciate that. And uh, we got to take him some eggs. That's what I'm going to do today. We're going to gather up all our eggs and take them to Randy. Anyway, um, we got that trap fixed. Got this trap set right there. Look, Margo knows what's up. Anyway, got this trap set right there. And I got a clip I'm going to show you guys here in a second because there's actually, I've had some action on this trap already two or three times, I think, but it's not, it wasn't a skunk. <laughs> so what do you think I might've caught that wasn't the skunk? And uh, oh, Mar Margo knows, look, she's like, that guy is in there. Margo, good girl. Anyway, so <laughs> we'll look at these last couple uh, clips I have over the weekend. And um, man, I'm going to get off here after... Uh, Check on the animals and everything. Show you guys how they're doing. They're doing great. Um, but yeah, watch these last couple clips. And uh, man, yeah, I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm just I'm ready to get the day started. Ready to get out to the lake. I got my lake shirt on. Nice and light and breezy. Aiden's in the house finishing up some laundry. Um, let's look at these last couple quick clips I've got for you guys. And I'm out of here. So I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Um, be safe. And uh, we love you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And hopefully, hey, stay tuned. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Because now that we've got two traps out here, honestly, who knows what all we're going to catch out here. I'm excited. I can't wait to start trapping stuff out here. I'm excited about that. So we got some traps. I'm excited about it. Um, you guys have a good day. I love you. Um, enjoy the rest of the video. And uh, I guess I'll make this the, the exit of the video, I guess. But there is still more to come. Um, let's hear what's the, how's the spill go spill goes. Hey, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, hit that notification bell to get notifications every time we post. And, uh, my brother goes smash that like button. If you will, if you don't mind. And, uh, love you guys. Have a good day. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Be safe. Treat those the way you want to be treated. Let's finish whatever else comes after this. The pigs and the cats and the dogs and the chickens and the whatever skunks. Go on, chickies. Chickens are looking good. One, two, three, four. Must be one still inside. Huh. Well, we got to look inside anyway because we got to get Randy some eggs. We'll see how easy this is still open. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Randy. Look at that, buddy. Got you a uh, half dozen right there. We'll collect those and give them what else we got. Hey, hey what's up, friends? How you doing? How you guys doing? Look at their, their pig pen. Waller's starting to hold water, so that's cool. Um, they're eating. He's eating. This one's not eating so much. 
you're getting a little tamer hey look at that hey don't eat me don't eat me <laughs> but they're cool um yeah we'll, we'll switch over real quick to the marker quit girl i'll tell you what um we'll switch over to the video real quick of us trying to get them to drink out of that yeah what y'all think about that Margaret, quit licking on them. I know I'm gonna be licking on them once about six months from now. I'm gonna cooking up in a nice cast iron skillet. Mm -mm -mm. Bacon and eggs. We are gonna try to see if we can't get these pigs to be drinking out of the uh, automatic water here. I don't think they're they're hitting them nipples down here. I got two nipples, one right there, one right there, and uh, I don't think they're they're getting them. So I read a comment somebody suggested. Try putting a little, whoa, try putting a little peanut butter on there and uh, they should figure it out pretty quick. So we're going to slap some peanut butter on there and see if, see if they'll figure it out. You want some peanut butter? I think he's going to go for it. All right, let's, let's see if this will work. It looks like they uh, they know they exist, that's for sure. Hopefully they eat it all and it doesn't get clogged up. No, on the nipple, the water nipple. Well, if they ain't figured it out, they're sure gonna wish they did. Cause uh, I bet their mouth's probably pretty dry now. All right, we got some uh, old cat food here. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the uh, live, live trap and see if uh, it'll catch anything. Hopefully we don't catch our cat. Hopefully not. I bet if we catch our cat, we only catch it once though. <laughs> Apparently, uh, you can catch up to nine times. You can catch your cat. Looks like we already got one visitor at the trap. We'll see if Salem can avoid getting caught in the trap. Oh, Salem. Oh, she just reset the trap. Dang it, Salem. Well, at least we know that's a possibility. Time to go reset the trap. Okay, got the trap reset. Hopefully Salem doesn't keep setting that trap off. That would be frustrating. Or that cat's gonna keep scaring stuff away from the trap. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes since I set this trap and Salem has just been laying there next to it. I mean, just hanging out by that trap because it smells that cat food. Um, basically, if anything's going to get caught in that trap, Salem's going to probably fight him first. Um, Salem, I need you to run off, buddy, and let, let some animals, other animals over there. Look at him, just over there guarding it. He ain't going to let nothing get in there. I guess, uh, that's what a barn cat's good for. Barn cat's just as good as any trap. Well, look at this. He done gone and did it. Salem done got himself caught in the trap. Well, we'll get you out, bud. Hey, at least we know it works. That's good.
Don't want to back out, buddy. Well, Sam done did it again. Well, you got to quit getting trapped if, you, uh, if I'm ever going to catch that skunk. <laughs>